Yeah, I mean, it, it means a lot, especially with the stretch that we have coming up. And we, we knew that, uh, you know, if we could get out to a good start and find a way to steal one, um, you know, like this on the road, uh, that would be huge to set the tone and give our guys confidence moving forward. And I think the thing I've been really pleased with the last two games is just how well we've come out and played in the second half. You saw the Florida State uh, game against length, and you know you saw Derek coming back into the lineup, what he provides for us. And we feel good about this group because they're older, uh, they, they're experienced. We've got guys that have won. And you have to have that in an environment like this to be able to get over the hump. So you know, Sam's exactly right. These guys, how they talk to each other, uh, it's a very resilient group. And when teams go on runs against us, when you have that leadership, and those guys are out in the huddle, you know, I give them some time. I, I get in the huddle, I get them out there, and then they generally go out and huddle together on the floor before the ball comes back into play. And that's designed, um, you know, for uh, those guys to talk some issues out. And then they go out and, and, and again, they've executed it. So, you know, really uh, happy with this win, you know, happy for that. You know, what it's all about for me, I mean, I'm sitting over there doing the TV after the game, and I see. You know, they got a picture of Greasel over there hugging his parents. I mean, how cool is that? You know, for a guy that grew up in this and, you know, means so much to him and to be able to come back and, you know, put that type of win on his resume, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty darn cool. Hey, Fred, last year you said one of the biggest keys was the way Nemhard controlled the pace. Yeah. How did in the reverse for you guys tonight, Sam, do in that regard? Yeah, he, he killed us last year, and, and he, I thought, was um, – well, they, they all played pretty pretty damn well, but he was he was exceptional in the game against us, and he was getting downhill and getting up the floor. Today, I think they had zero fast break points in the first half. You have a chance if you can get back and get your defense set. If not, you're you're done. You're toast in this building. So you know to be able to get back, and then <clears throat> we wanted to be very selective in our attack. If we had numbers, we were going to push. If not, we were going to slow it down, get into our offense, and hopefully execute and take what the defense gave us. And that's where. Uh, it was apparent early that they were going to take our shooting away. And they did a heck of a job with that, with their game plan. So Derek and Sam, uh, you know, really were the two guys that we, that we played through. And again, those guys, I give them all the credit in the world for going out and continuing to make plays. Where does this defensive performance rank for your time here, considering the opponent, considering the location? Just yeah, like yeah, really, really good. Um, you know, I, I mean, those two wins at the end of the year were big. But, you know, at the, this moment at this time of year, uh, you know, to be able to get a signature win like this is huge. And defensively, it, it's yeah, it, it couldn't have played much better. And again, it, you know, they missed some shots. There's no doubt about that when when they look back on it. But we made a conscious effort to try and take away the paint. If they get lobs and they get threes, you can't. You, you got nothing. But you have to take something away. I mean, you're going to give up something. But you know, we, we felt if we rotated and and we got out of the, uh, you know, got out of that low man spot early in the possession that we felt we could force them either into a drive uh, where we did a good job funneling it to the baseline uh, or take a contested shot. And they make them. You know, they make a lot of those. And we, we talk to our team about it. If they hit it, you can't get deflated. Uh, it's such a high-powered uh, offense. Max, one of the best in the business, um, you know, when it comes to that side of the floor. And uh, our guys just did a great job of flying around. And that's what it's all about. We talk, if you're going to make a mistake, make it with effort. And I thought we did that. Great hit that four-point play to cut it down to five in the second half. And then on the other end, Sam, that back cut for the N one to kind of answer right back. What was the significance of that play and him making that read in that situation? Yeah, yeah, we, we needed it. And again, you put the ball on your two uh, players that had it going tonight, and that, that's what happened. And you know, one thing I'm proud of this team is it's every night is somebody different. And um, you know, last game it was CJ and Kase that, that really had it going. Tonight, uh, because of the way they played us, it was Sam and it was, it was Derek. Uh, you know, one of the games down in Orlando, it was um, it, it was a manual. So, you know, the other guy that you know I can't say enough about is Juwan. You look at the efficiency that Juwan played with and the rebounding. And uh, you know, we went a little bit small for a stretch there. The other guy's Wilhelm. I told I told you're going to hit a huge three for this team. That's going to help us win a game, and he did that, and that was enormous for his confidence. So, um, you know, everybody that stepped on the floor, I thought contributed, and uh, and that's what it's all about. Hey Fred, how big were the two stretches where? Walker picked up his second, I think it was like five minutes left. He had to buy time to the end of the half, then he had the third. And just that, you, you held serve, though, in those moments. Yeah, we, we really tried to take the air out of the ball, which pains me to do that. But, you know, we just felt that that was our only chance was to slow down and, you know, try to uh, buy some time with Derek on the bench because he was really the only one putting it in the hoop in the first half for us. 
So, um, yeah, it, it was it was important. Then when he picked up his third, that if we couldn't get to the media timeout quick enough, and then it got down about 14. Derek was exhausted, and you know committed the over the back foul. But um, you know we were going to get him out at that time anyway. And then when he went back in, again he just he has a way of calming us down when when the ball's in his hands. Fred, I look at the, uh, in the first half they did get two back to back makes off of reversals against yep. your scrambling rotations and things like that. How did you guys? not let that affect their effort level in terms of flying around and rotating? Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. We, we watched those two clips at halftime, and, um, you know, we, we, it was a defensive mistake. And, you know, the, the wrong guy uh, stayed in, and then our rotation was messed up because of that. It was a really good adjustment by, by Mac. But, you know, we watched uh, that play at halftime, made sure if they were going to come out <clears throat> and get us into that uh, action again that we, we knew what we were going to do to cover it. Uh, they hadn't shown that. Uh, action, but you know it was a really good play against our defense. But once we made the adjustment, then uh, that allowed us to get out at least contest uh, and contest their shot. Um, but you know, again, this team has resiliency to it, and uh, I, I give the two guys here and Emmanuel and um, you know Juwan, uh, Wilhelm, all those guys credit for you know continuing to stay the path and, and not get deflated out there. Fred, I guess this is more of a big picture thing, but you talk about Juwan, you talk about Emmanuel, obviously Sam. How big can that experience that they bring be in a game like this? Yeah, I mean, it makes all the difference in the world when you when you have that. You know, the guys that have been through it, guys that have played the postseason, and um, you know, when you when you have those kind of guys, uh, you know, just what it means to them to come out here and, and understand the importance of getting a big signature win like this. You know, this team that we played tonight, they're going to be competing for a national championship this year. And that's just how they're built. And, you know, for us to come in here on the road in a hostile environment and, uh, and find a way to, to get a win uh, is huge for confidence. And, again, we're at Indiana and Purdue. Those are our next two. And then we've got a tough one going into the break, and then it's all Big Ten from there. So we have, have to get wins like this if we want to continue on to play, uh, you know, after the regular season. Sam penetrating and continue to look and score and take advantage of a size mismatch. Is that something you guys talked about going into the game or something he kind of instigated on his own? Yeah, we, we figured they'd put a, a, some size on him, which they did with uh, with Trey, um, you know, for the most part. And it, it was either going to be that or Derek. You know, we felt pretty good about getting the ball to Derek. Um, and like I said, in the middle of the floor. It, the thing about Derek, he can score it all over the place. But Derek's physicality, his experience, um, you know, we felt good about the ball in both those guys' hands. And again, especially the way that they took our shooters away tonight.